Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. If you're new to my channel, my name is Trina. Thank you so much for watching. I make videos mostly about beauty devices and skincare. So if you're interested in these topics, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel because I do upload a new video every week. I also have a private Facebook community all about microcurrent and other devices. And I have a Instagram page where I upload a lot of content that I don't post here on YouTube. So I would love it if you could follow me there as well. So today's video is all about the Nua radio frequency device. And I'm going to unbox the device and I'm going to walk you through a demo of my first time using this radio frequency device. In the box, it comes with the device. And for this particular device that I have, you actually have to keep it plugged in while you're using it. So it's not a big deal. You just plug it in and then you plug it into an outlet and then it will only work when it's plugged in. And the device also came with some lift activator gel and this really cute storage bag. So it says, congratulations on your new purchase. Younger, tighter, firmer skin is just around the corner. In just four weeks, you'll see tighter, younger, smoother skin. And they have a one year warranty free of charge when you register the device. One thing to note about the Nua radio frequency device is that you should only use it for skin types one through four. There's a little chart here that shows the skin tones so that if you have a darker skin tone, then this isn't gonna work for you. So I'll put that up on the screen so you can consult that and make sure that it's the right device before you buy it or before you start using it. So the first thing you need to do with the Nua device is start with clean, dry skin and then apply the activator gel. So I'm gonna go take my makeup off so we can get right into the demo. Okay, so I've taken off all of my makeup. I have clean, dry skin. I've also removed all of my jewelry, which you wanna do before you do radio frequency. Now, before I get started with the tutorial, I wanted to just talk briefly about what radio frequency is. And I know a lot of you probably already know. I think a lot of you already know about microcurrent, but radio frequency is not an electrical current like microcurrent. It is a frequency like a sound wave. It's a heat energy that stimulates collagen production to tighten the skin. But I wanna point out that this does take time. Radio frequency is a long game because what you're doing is you're stimulating collagen in the deeper layers of your skin and it takes time for that collagen to work its way up to the surface of your skin. So when you're getting started with the Nua device, they recommend you do it five times a week for the first 30 days. And then after those 30 days are up and you've started to see some of the collagen coming to the surface of your skin, you can go into maintenance mode and do it one to two times a week. So you know, you do have to keep using it, but if it's gonna help me stimulate collagen, I'm all for it. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial. I um, have got my newer device here, and I've got the gel here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. There's zero, one, and two. Zero is standby mode, and then one is low level, and two is the highest level. And I'm following along with the instructions book here. They do have a really great app that you can follow along on your smartphone. In the instructions guide here, it says that you should start with level two. They want you to start with level two and it is gonna feel hot. And if it feels too hot for you, you can turn it down to level one. But if level one still feels uncomfortable to you, then definitely turn it off, definitely stop. You shouldn't feel uncomfortable when you're using a radio frequency device. In the booklet here, it says that we're gonna be working six areas, the upper cheek and lower cheek on one side of the face, the upper cheek and lower cheek on the other side of the face, and then the sides of the neck here not the throat or the thyroid. We're gonna be doing the neck here on the sides to tighten this up. And I know this is a really, really popular area. On my microcurrent videos, a lot of you leave comments and in our private beauty device group, a lot of people are talking about like, how can I tighten up my under my neck? So I think this is gonna be a great tool and a great exercise for a lot of you to try out. But I think it's really curious that the instruction booklet here does not include the forehead, but when you go on their website and look at the FAQ section, it says you can do the forehead. So I'm gonna do the forehead. I'm gonna do both sides of my forehead. The forehead is a trouble area for many people. And for me, I got my first wrinkle right here, this horizontal wrinkle that I've been able to smooth out a lot through microcurrent. And I'm hoping that by using radio frequency, I'll be able to smooth it out even more. So I'm definitely gonna do that um, because they say you can on the website. I'm not sure why they didn't include it in the book here. You definitely don't wanna use it on your eye, like your eyelid or anywhere around your eye. I know a lot of us are trying to lift hooded eyes like me. I'm gonna stick to the orbital bone and I'm just gonna work here. I'm not gonna get too close to my eye because you definitely don't wanna mess with your eyes. This device has to be plugged in to use it. I know that some of you have the cordless device, but I've got the cord one. I know it's a lot cheaper. So each treatment area is gonna be treated for four minutes. So we'll do four minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'll be 32 minutes. So it's about half an hour that'll take me to do my whole face and my neck. And that's about the same amount of time it takes me to do my MyLift Mini. So that's an amount of time that I'm used to doing. So it says to apply two lines of treatment gel directly on the electrode area. I think they wanna make sure that you've got a lot of gel. 
And so I've got a lot of gel on here. I'll probably have like better dexterity the next time I do this. So I am still on standby mode, you guys. I'm on zero. Now that I've got the gel on, I can switch it to two. And then the blue light will be on to say that it's ready to go. And I'm going to do each area for four minutes. And it's going to vibrate to tell me that it's done. So I'm going to start on the upper cheek area here. And I'm just going to start doing it. Wow, I think I put too much gel on, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to press the power button. So I'm supposed to press the power button to start the energy delivery. The blue LED light will start flashing. Oh, it's flashing. Okay. So I definitely feel the heat. You guys, I think that maybe I didn't need to use quite this much gel. Um, so maybe I'll do a little bit less the next time than the next section. But, you know, I, I wanted it to be like really careful. I definitely feel the heat. And I think what you guys want to do is make sure you keep moving it in slow circular motion. Yeah, in a constant circular motion. You should feel a warm, pleasant sensation as you move the device over the treatment area. This means it's working. And then a vibration will indicate that four minutes is up so I can move it to the next section. You definitely want to be engaged while you're doing this. You want to be in a mirror. You want to be following along with my video. Um, you don't want to be watching TV or getting distracted so that you stop moving it in circles because then I think you can get into some problems where it can become too hot. So definitely watch what you're doing. But this is super easy to do, you guys, and it doesn't feel bad. It just feels really warm. You can see that my skin is getting a little bit red. That's totally normal. And remember, if it feels uncomfortable, you can move to level one. I'm staying at two because I want these results. Okay, so I got to vibrate. So I know that those four minutes are up and it's time to move to the next section. I wanted to call out that right now, you guys, I'm testing the current body LED mask and I'm doing this for 30 days and I'm taking photos along the way. So I'm about halfway through and when I finish that, I'm going to post my video showing the results so you can decide if this is something that you want to invest in. And then I'm going to move on to the newer device doing that five times a week for the first 30 days because I want to be your guinea pig, you guys. I want to show you before and afters and how these devices work so that you can decide if you want to buy them or not. And I want to isolate the devices so I can show the results. And then once I get done with the NUA, then I'm going to test out the Nira laser. Then I'll be able to incorporate all of these devices as part of my normal skincare routine. Now I'm going to move on to the next section. I'm going to apply more gel. I kind of went a little bit overboard last time. So I think I've got plenty of gel. I'll put a little bit here on my cheek. I'm going to do the lower part of my cheek here. So again, I just put it on my skin and I push down. And I start moving it and it should start blinking. Yeah, it starts to blink and you feel the heat immediately so you know it's working. So I'm going to do this area and I'm so excited to be doing this area, you guys. I'm starting to see some sagging in my jowls like right here where I'm working it. So this makes me feel so good that I can tighten this area. So I'm just going to do this for four minutes. Okay, so that vibrated to tell me those four minutes are up. And I forgot, you guys, when I'm doing the cheek area, I'm going to work it up the orbital bone a little bit next to my eye here. Never going into my eye area, just the orbital bone, because I want to try to tighten the skin to lift my hooded eyes. So now I'm going to move on to this upper cheek area. So again, I'll put some more um, gel on the device, making sure that it's nice and covered. I think I put a better amount this time. I think last time I put way too much on. I'm going to start here on this cheek and I am going to push and hold the device and start moving it and see that it starts to blink and it does and I can immediately feel the heat. So again, just going to do this for four minutes and I'm moving it in circles, constantly moving it in circles. And Wow, I think maybe I put too much gel. It's going to take some time to get used to this gel, you guys. This is real life. This really is actually the first time that I'm ever using this device. And as you can see here, I'm doing circles um, up the orbital bone next to my eye here to try to tighten that skin to help my hooded eye. So I'm going to do that um, every time that I do the device as part of my routine. I'm going to treat that as part of the cheek area. I think it's probably a good idea to have like a washcloth or 
a paper towel or something that you can use to wipe off the gel because it does get a little bit messy. I guess I'll just put it down here to like use it when I do the bottom cheek area. Okay, I got the vibration that that's done. Now I'm gonna move on to the lower cheek area here. And then I'm gonna push the button and then I immediately feel the heat so I know it's working. And I'm gonna get those jowls. I'm gonna work those jowls and do the whole lower cheek area for four minutes. Probably better if I like have my hair in a ponytail to pull my hair away. I recommend that if you have longer hair to just put it in a ponytail holder. So you don't wanna get the gel in your hair, especially if you don't wash your hair except once a week like me. Okay, and it vibrated, so it's time to stop. And now I'm gonna do my neck. I'm gonna put more gel on the electrodes and then I'm going to start here on the neck area and I'm gonna push down to activate it. And then it starts blinking, I know it's working and I'm just gonna work it in circles. Um, all around my neck area here. Being really careful not to go near the throat. Okay, and it vibrated and I know that it's time to move to the other side. Put a little bit more gel, cover up the electrodes, and then place it here and push the button and start moving it around. Yep, I feel the heat. Okay. Okay, then it vibrated, and now I'm gonna move up and do my forehead area. So I'm gonna cover the electrodes here, and then I'm going to push and hold so I know that it starts. Ooh, it's a little hot. And I'm just gonna move it around in circles on this side of my forehead, and I'm going to um, go over to the side. I'm gonna put a little bit more gel. It feels really hot on my forehead, wow. Um, I'm going to um, move it around in circles and I'm going to go by the orbital bone um, by the side of my eye, just like I was doing before in the upper cheek area, just to try to tighten the area around my hooded eyes, being really careful not to get too close to my eye. The skin is a lot thinner on the forehead, so definitely you feel the heat a lot more. I think that some of you might need to turn it down to level one on the forehead. Up and it vibrated, so it's time to move on to the other side. So I'm gonna put put a little bit more gel. I'm going to push the button to activate it. Ooh, yep, I definitely feel the heat. And again, just gonna do this for four minutes, going down on the side of my orbital bone by my eye and just working in the forehead area. And that vibrated, so that's it, you guys. That is the full routine. After the treatment, it says to clean the device. So before cleaning the device, you wanna turn the device off. So I'm gonna switch it to zero, because that's the off position. And I'm going to unplug it before I do any cleaning. And it says wipe any of the remains of the gel with a soft, dry cloth and store the device. And you wanna store the device in the storage case that I showed you earlier and keep in a cool, dry place and out of reach of children. And then for your face, you wanna gently remove any excess treatment gel. I definitely have a lot of extra treatment gel all over my face. Feel free to apply regular night or day skincare and makeup of your choice. And I would for sure make sure I'm wearing sunscreen during the day. I would anyway, but um, I think it's really important to be very diligent with sunscreen when you're doing these beauty devices. And then there's other instructions here that I recommend you read through the entire booklet when you get it, um, just to make sure that you followed along with all of their protocol and they have a lot of FAQs at the back that you can look through. That's it you guys for my Nua Beauty tutorial. I would love to know if you have a Nua device and what your results have been so far. And let me know in the comments below, what devices do you want me to review next? I'm planning to do the ice globes. I'm planning to do the Nira laser, a couple more LED masks that I'm going to test out and make videos about. But I'd love to know from you if there's something specific that you want me to do a video a tutorial for. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment below, share it with a friend if you think they'd find it helpful. And I would love it if you guys could subscribe to my channel before you go. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.